everyone. Uh, welcome again. Um, like Lenny said, mental health is one of the most relevant, if not the most relevant issues that have surfaced as a result of the continuous um, emergency mode that we've been experiencing first with the hurricanes and then um, now with the earthquakes. And what we want from this session is really to better understand what people are going through, the symptoms um, they're experiencing, and the consequences of these symptoms if not attended, and how we can address them um, in the you know, short, medium, and long term. And particularly how us as philanthropy can be of, of support um, to address the situation. Um, Melissa Vesares, Dr. Melissa Vesares, is a clinical psychologist. She is part of the faculty of the clinical psychology faculty at um, the Carlos Alviso University in the Maya West campus. And she's here um, to talk about all these issues today with us. So Melissa, welcome and go ahead. Melissa? You're on mute just in case. Oh, okay. Hi. Do you hear yeah. me now? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes, hey, I'm Dr. Melissa Desares. Good afternoon. Uh, um, for the first disclosure, I'm going to say um, for my benefit that my English is not that good. So if you have any questions, uh, the girls that yeah, just talk can. can can help me with that to, uh, um, to translate for you if I don't have the answer in English. Okay. Um, thanks to Philanthropia Puerto Rico for bringing me the opportunity to present the, the, the social work that the university did uh, since the earthquake uh, in January 7. Uh, after the the first uh, big earthquake. That, uh, that Puerto Rico experiment, experiment in January 6, the university gave um, um, first, first for us, psychological first aid um, to, the, to the southwest uh, area of Puerto Rico. And we are going to discuss uh, a little bit about that intervention and um, the psychological uh, um, the psychological state that we um, that we, we experience in the interventions with the families that we impact in that day. The presentations. Ah. Oh, okay. The objective Perfect. is to present the mental health of Puerto Ricans to the natural disasters based on their psychosocial experience. First, we are going to discuss ¿verdad? the reality of the earthquake, a little bit of that, the natural responses uh, of human beings to the earthquake or natural disasters, the symptoms of the risk factors that can cause uh, um, disorders in long term if we, uh, the professionals of health, mental health, don't, uh, don't have the opportunity to intervene with the population. The importance of the psychosocial um, interventions, the PFA, that is uh, the psychological first aid during the crisis, and we discuss the protective factors that all the families in Puerto Rico um, have to develop uh, during these days, because we are experimenting, uh, experimenting uh, through the days, ¿verdad? Esto no se ha acabado. Uh, the, the impact of the, of the, of the sequels of, of a natural disaster and the Puerto Rican emotional needs today. First of all, the, we discuss when, um, what is a natural, a natural disaster. The natural disaster, of, as you all know, uh, um, include all types of severe weather which have the potential to pose a significant threat to human health and safety, property, critical infrastructure, and homeland security. Natural disasters occur both uh, seasonally and without warning, subjecting the nation to frequent periods of insecurity, disruption, and economic loss. Um, 
we have been experienced the impact of natural disasters since Huracan Maria and Irma in 2017, but earthquake experience uh, was a, an unusual experience and affect the mental health in the population. That's why we, we, we are going better to discuss what we see. The earthquake uh, is a sudden and violent shaking of the ground, sometimes causing great destruction as a result of movement within the Earth, cross and volcanic action. All natural disasters come with a warning, but we as Puerto Rican learning these days that we have to um, develop uh, protocols for, for prevent uh, um, and security. For all of the people that don't live in Puerto Rico, the dots, the, the red dots that you see in the, in the screen are the earthquake passing in different places since uh, January in Puerto Rico. The USGS uh, has registered more than 900 earthquakes in Puerto Rico since January. This uh, graphic uh, shows the constant exposition that, uh, well, no, the constant exposition to earthquake that the people of Puerto Rico are experimenting. Um, another, the seismic uh, network of Puerto Rico have, them, have also, <laughs> have also uh, a register. Um, they said that it's been more than a thousand uh, earthquakes since, uh, since January. We all have a natural natural uh, natural emotional reactions uh, if we experience uh, some of the natural uh, disasters those reactions can be ph physiological or physical reactions or psychological reactions the scientific literature uh, tell us that each human demonstrate or react to to experience of the, the natural disasters um, and the reactions are natural states uh, that our, our neurological system creates to protect us. And that's why we need, uh, we can, we, well, uh, we can have physical and psychological reactions for protect. And um, the natural disasters events are classified by our nervous system as a dangerous for life and our possessions, uh, they naturally active, activate our ne neurological alarm system of our nervous system. And the alarm system focus our attention on defending ourselves or uh, fleeing the events uh, catalog, catalog as dangerous. The physical reactions are associated uh, constantly with um, the psychological reactions. If you are safe, um, your perception or your, your perception of your mental state um, develop fear, stress, or uh, hypervigilance. Um, they activate the neuro, the neurological and the, and the nervous system and create a somatic, a somatic reaction. That's why most of the person that we attend or intervene with them in the, um, during the psycho, psychosocial uh, work, they experiment uh, physical reactions like hyperventilation, hyperventilation, um, shaking, um, pure anxiety management, Etc. This event, as we said, evoked fear and continuous anticipation of, da of danger until the danger ceases. When the emotional reaction activated by the alarm system are intense or, or persistent, the possibility of developing stress reaction associated with trauma increases. Uh, if the exposure to danger continues for a long time, like weeks or months, uh, and if there is no 
adequate adaptation to defend the stress reaction that can become a, a stress disorder. Um, that's why we, um, uh, our, our team always uh, do a screening of what they, what they sense, not only um, psychological, um, um, sino que uh, physically, ¿verdad? We screen if they have somat somatization, sleep deprivation, deprivation um, if there are uh, changing the, the routine in, in, the, in the alimentation, um, etc. The psychological reactions uh, more frequent are uh, the, ¿verdad? the pure anxiety management, uh, the pure self-control, and the increasing of the symptoms associated with uh, the de animal, uh, the, like depressive or depressive symptoms. Investigations uh, says that, or carry out, uh, when the earthquake in IT uh, occurred, uh, the investigation says that or informed uh, us that children who were not accompanied by parents at the time of the earthquake suffer and uh, on average more symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder that or that los que estaban acompañado that the ones that has been uh, accompanied. Um, this forces us uh, the team right, to think about the needs to convey the population uh, the, the, the importance of the protective role of the parents uh, towards sons and daughters at time of, of facing or experimenting the earthquakes. In the risk of factor, risk factors that we uh, experiment or we um, we saw during the intervention uh, was the re-experimentation of trauma. La, like I said uh, in the beginning, we as uh, Puerto Rican pass uh, um, or experiment a few, a few uh, a natural disasters like Huracan Maria and Huracan Irma. And when we talk with the, with the family and the person that, that we intervene, um, they talk about uh, how, how, how they associate um, they associate a lot of the feelings that they have already that they have today um, to the, the feelings that they have on Bella, the insecurity that they have at, uh, when we pass uh, Huracan Maria. Um, the people report that they experience insecurities. Um, the question, the, the most, uh, the question that most of the people ask to us what it is, it is what I, I'm, I am going to do now. Because unemployment come, the, the, the school are closed. Um, there is no water and electricity for most of the people that are, that are in, the, in the mountains of the, of the area. That get, um, the other person um, um, fly to the US for protect the families. Um, pure accessibility to food, uh, not available health services, um, they, they are experimenting, ¿verdad? they're moving to the USA, uh, families, neighbors, and friends are moving to the USA, and also death. We attend to two communities that we gave them um, seguimiento, uh, how we say seguimiento? Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, um, one of the one of the father of three children um, um, have thoughts of, of, of injuring him, but I have thoughts of death. And in about one 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 
one week and a half, uh, we have to go to the to the hospital because he intent to to suicide. Um, other family that we that we have uh, intervened with them. Um, the the father died because of of a uh, caída in, in one of the tents, and also very uh, very few people talk about uh, the, the the desire of uh, of ending what it happened today because um, they are very distressed and they are experimenting or re-experimenting or re victimizing uh, them, themselves because of an um, trauma uh, no trabajado, right? What uh, we saw in the field was very um, various private uh, agencies, universities, uh, government uh, agency, agencies, federal agencies, and individuals in, in their character, in their personal character, providing uh, mental health, uh, mental health um, services. Um, we 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 try to do our best to organize the community because um, all, all people uh, that comes to the southwest uh, have the, the intentions have the good, good intention of, of bringing a good uh, uh, service to the people that that, that need it. Um, but because um, we don't have a leader uh, or, a, or our organization that sometimes uh, uh, direct the services, um, we experience a lot of, of duplicity of, of, of services. Um, we are working with that right now. Uh, because of the risk factors of uh, experimentation of trauma, the the people the people um, the people can 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 develop a more uh, dysfunctional uh, way of a more dysfunctional way for for um, uh, live their lives because of the pure management of the, the anxiety that generates uh, the risk factors that the employment, uh, the children without school, and all of of the level, the um, the basic needs uh, that they have. Uh, Today, they they can create better. They can generate or develop uh, more uh, symptoms or, or symptoms that um, can create dysfunctions in the in people like stress disorder, post traumatic stress disorder, the like PTSD, or secondary tra traumatic stress. We um, do not see. Do not see a lot of person with post-traumatic stress disorder because we are treating them with the with models that are created scientific with with based on scientific tool um, for the for the crisis because of the earthquake continue passing in Puerto Rico. We are using more that more models um, that impact in the moment because they don't have the possibility of a, of, of a treatment in long term. Okay, so in this time we see we we saw um, person that have or. or have symptoms or, or associate symptoms 
of secondary traumatic stress uh, and secondary traumatic stress and vicarious victimization. Um, the secondary traumatic stress is uh, the, emotion, the emotional distress that results when an individual hears about the first-hand trauma experience of another. Most of the, of the, of the parents uh, that we, we intervene, uh, they, they, they report some of the symptoms that the person can experience uh, because of the distress that the, the children uh, uh, have today. Okay. Vicarious victimization, we saw vicarious victimization more in the population or the leader communities that are bringing the help to the persons that live in the southwest of, the, of Puerto Rico. The vicarious victimization is a phenomenon through which people experience trauma in both by, in both by the victimization of another person or persons. It can occur in the context of awareness of almost any traumatic event, from criminal victimization to acts of terrorism or war or disaster or natural disasters. Okay. The solution or the treatment that we uh, we develop uh, during the time of, of the psychosocial uh, work. Um, it, it was a trauma-informed uh, model or intervention for all the people that we, we, uh, we saw. The National, Ch the National Child Traumatic Stress Network uh, defines the trauma-informed model as, as a trauma-informed child and family service system is one in which all parties uh, involved recognize and respond to the impact of traumatic stress and those who have contact with the system, including children, caregivers, and service, provide, uh, service provider. They act in collaboration with all those who are involved with a child or a person using the best available science to maximize physical and psychological safety facilitate the, re the recovery of the child and family and support their ability to thrive. The service uh, system with trauma-informed perspective is one in which agencies, programs, and service providers routinely screen the, for trauma exposure and related symptoms, use evidence-based culturally responsive assessment and treatment, um, make resources available to children, families, and providers uh, on trauma exposure, engage in efforts to strengthen their resilience and protective factors of the families, address parents and caregivers' trauma and its impact in the family system, emphasize continuity of care. That's one of one of the of the goals right now and maintain an environment of care for staff that address, minimize, and treat secondary traumatic stress, okay? Displacement of emotional reaction to, to natural disaster uh, exacerbate uh, if, if the person have a lack of, of information. Therefore, the, the people must be informed through multiple means, the reliable information about what is typical felt in the face of the event of the nature. Uh, of this nature and, and how to respond to these reactions, okay? So, uh, uh, because of what we saw uh, and what we learned is through our interventions um, and through, through our interventions today and through, throughout the, the, the interventions of the Bella, or, of our interventions throughout the, the island after Dragon Maria, 
the university initiated a program to intervene psychosocially in the southwest and south communities of the island. Uh, um, this initi initi initiative, initiative was called Puerto Rico Residence con Universidad del Piso, which has been organized according the following, according, uh, according of four projects, but we are discussing just one of the projects, okay? Um, the first project is the attention during the crisis. We have we use evidence-based uh, psychotherapy and uh, models of services. Um, um, the first one was the psychological first aid. That is an evidence-based approach developed by the National Children's Traumatic Stress Network and National Center of PTSD to help children, adolescents, adults, and families interme intermediately immediately after the disaster. PFA is designed to reduce the initial distress caused by the traumatic. Um, in that, um, when we use, uh, in Urak and Maria, we use for the first time the type of the, this type of evidence-based approach, um, and we offer certification to the students uh, um, who complete the training, um, um, and that's why the students can in the first day in the during the first time the, during the first day of the disaster they have the, the competence to intervene with all the families. The other uh, evidence-based approach was target T4 model is a short four-step approach designed to help young people and their families calm down, regular stress reactions and think, and think clearly before acting. It helps to move uh, from, be, from, being, um, from being reactive, beloved, uh, the, or survival mode to think more clearly and we are using it uh, in, in this time because it is a uh, it can be used in long-term uh, ther therapy since day one we are in the streets we have supervisor practitioners students in the in, students in the community and in, in the community in supervised way the side train in psychological first aid uh, goes to uh, um, schools, uh, associations, industries, um, houses, etc. DVD program uh, activate the crisis, the crisis line. DVD program is a program that we have in the university uh, and was available um, for for all the persons that do not have uh, the, the capacity to go to one clinic or another. Um, and we uh, provide public, public service and podcast announcement to programs. Melissa, ah. Melissa, excuse me. Uh, I have to interrupt. We're running short on time. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. uh, we could wrap up in about a minute or two so that we can open up the session for people to ask questions, please. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm going to pass really quickly. <laughs> yeah. Be in fact, so many municip municipalities, uh, as we know, we have telepsychology for that persons that have no accessibility to uh, no accessibility to, to health care. Um, those are one of the uh, interventions that we have in the community. This is a team that we have todavía in the streets working. Protective factors important um, to 
We have our protective factor during this uh, during this natural disaster was the community leaders, the community itself, the health professionals with the human sensitivity, the families, and the resilience that have Puerto Ricans, right? So uh, we today, right? We have the needs um, see, and the challenges of, of trained human resources, um, more professionals who can be trained uh, in post-trauma treatment, uh, to promote empowerment uh, to, the employee, to the employees of, of the education department and to the um, mental health care, so a lot of professionals of mental health care. Um, develop protocol for disaster prevention methods based on evidence, based on evidence. Um, funds for school without walls or with walls, but accessible uh, to all children. Uh, Funds for ambulatory clinics in the southwest that will be structured additionally uh, uh, for the treatment for a long term treatment. Uh, and funds for self care services to all people that are healthy. And finally, uh, in the voice of a Puerto Rican poet, <laughs> it's the first time that Puerto Rico won flowers with the crack and in the woods of Mesa Vila. Thank you, Melissa. And we, we will open up now the session for, for people um, that are listening that if want, they want to um, ask any questions. Um, we're going to um, um, let you. Um, speak now. Um, audio. Yeah. We're gonna play Normally, with audio. On, or? They can go ahead in the Q A and A okay. uh, icon on the bottom. You can put that, or you can go ahead and kind of raise your hand, and we will go and unmute you uh, if you'd like to make a comment or ask a question. So feel free to to ask any. I, I actually have a question, Melissa. I wanted to say something before that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that Melissa, if you would like, we can also, you can also answer the questions in Spanish if you feel more comfortable and we will be happy to translate for you. And we can do this in Spanish, very, you know, very um, comfortable. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> eh, okay. so Melissa, one question, um, and, and it's just, in your experience, um, what has been one action mm -hmm. that you have seen that has worked most effectively um, with quicker results? Okay. In you, do you say it in Spanish? Sí. Oh. Lo voy a hacer en, en, en español. Okay. Um, bajo la experiencia de ahora, ¿verdad? Que eh, ha sido bien diferente a la experiencia eh, durante el huracán María. Um, aprendimos algo luego del huracán María, ¿verdad? Y era el que... Déjame ir traduciendo. Dame okay. un... <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and translate it again. I will, will go ahead and, and translate. So you check me, Rebecca. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so after the Hurricane María, and that was not our first uh, traumatic experience, Go ahead, come on. Oh, no, this, this experience uh -huh. has been very different from the Hurricane Maria experience. Okay, right. Yeah. This seismic mm -hmm. experience has been very different from our Hurricane Maria experience, but she did mention that it wasn't our only experience. Yeah. Okay, dale, Melissa. Y eh, aprendimos, ¿verdad? Como, como profesionales de la salud, aprendimos eh, el cómo intervenir, eh, el cómo intervenir y ser efectivos sin mucha guía, ¿verdad? Ya que eh, en ese momento lo, okay. 
<laughs> we, learned, we learned how to intervene um, with little experience and kind of specific traumatic uh, training. Sí. Um, y esto pues nos llevó a, a poder tener las competencias para poder eh, brindarle el servicio instantáneo a, a las personas afectadas. Okay, so okay. this really just brought the, the training to, to us because it was during the experience that we learned to address these issues to the affected people. Y una acción que, que ¿verdad? Contestando tu pregunta directa, una acción que trajo eh, muy buenos resultados fue el reunirnos con, ajá, perdón, ajá. <laughs> reunirnos con los líderes comunitarios Right. Solo espacio. Meet with community leaders in one common space. Primero para tener un momento de disclosure y bajar nuestras ansiedades. Y segundo For para organizarnos como líderes, cada uno en su expertise. Organizarnos okay. y crear entonces eh, un plan de trabajo. De manera. Right. So, so first to kind of come to a common ground and, and everybody bent and check in with the current situation and how everybody is coming in and then to organize within the community leaders how they were going to uh, intervene. So this is, this is great because it was just a very participatory um, a reaction to the, to the trauma, not just coming in as doctors and specialists and really, okay, this is the, the psychological help that you need, but what your experience has taught you and what you are currently doing is really just coming into the community, everybody checking in on where they are, their, their awareness and, and their common grounds, and then from there, uh, creating a common uh, action plan. Yeah, sí. Nos ha resultado mucho. Eh, y hemos cubierto muchas necesidades en un solo, en un solo espacio. Porque entonces teníamos... Eh, Um, residentes de psiquiatría con nosotros en ocasiones, a veces trabajadores sociales clínicos, a veces un líder de la comunidad que quería aportar en otra cosa, en arte, eh, ¿verdad? Eh, así que todos unificados, eh, trabaja, trabajamos muy bien en conjunto y, y como le dije, pues cubríamos muchas necesidades a la vez. So what she's, um, as a wrap up to the answer, what she's saying is that um, this participatory process um, helped uh, facilitate uh, like a multi, multi, dimensional, multi -dimensional multi approach, intersectional, inter intersectional approach <laughs> to, to attending the situation because everyone um, just really um, brought to the table what they, um, their expertise. So it would it really help, you know, attend the situation from different perspectives. Thank you. Any more questions? No, I think we're good. Um, again, you can go ahead and ask your questions. This recording will be available.